So a uh, lead code practice question. Uh, in this video, we are going to solve this problem and then we are going to see how we should behave in a real interview. So let's get started. So the first step is always try to understand the question. Um, if there's anything unclear, please bring up some questions to the interviewer and uh, at the same time, think about the edge cases. So let's see. So case missing positive number. So given an array of positive integers sorted in a strictly increasing order and an integer k, find the case positive integer that is missing from the array. So, so for this example, we are going to return 9. That is because the fifth missing number is 9 uh, given the array. So uh, based on the constraints, uh, it seems like the array is not going to be empty and also it is going to be in increasing order. So let's try to see how to solve this problem. So brute force solution, of course, we could always do one pass, uh, which is linear scan. It is going to take all of n to find the case positive n number that is missing, but it's not going to be time efficient. So based on the constraints, uh, the condition strictly increasing order, uh, we could do some binary search on top of it. So consider um, for this array. So there are, so for the zeros position, there is one positive number missing. Uh, for the second position, for the for this position, there, uh, there is one positive number missing. For this one, one positive number missing. For this one, we have three positive number missing. For this one, we have six positive number missing. So, in, so we could trans, uh, transform the original array into another array, which is uh, how many number of positive numbers are missing array. So uh, essentially, we are trying to find the k within this transformed array. So in this one, because this is in non-decreasing order, so we are going to we could use some. Uh, binary search on top of it to solve this problem. And the runtime for binary search is going to be log n. So let's get started and do some coding work on this approach. So for binary search, we have the left pointer and uh, we also have the right pointer. And well, the left is smaller than right. We have the mid as equal to uh, left plus uh, right uh, minus left and divided by two. And um, the num missing is actually uh, array i minus the index and the minus one. So, um, so, we will compare the num missing array. Num missing, if num missing is uh, smaller than k, then we should search in the. So if it is smaller than k, we should search in the right part. So we will have left is equal to made plus one. Otherwise, uh, we will have uh, right is equal to made. So until now, everything seems to be very normal binary search. And the, the last uh, comparison is, uh, yeah, so if we can see, so let's first uh, compute the num missing it is equal to array left uh, minus left uh, minus one. So if this one, if num missing is smaller than k, then we should just return um, array left plus um, uh, this is plus so k minus num missing. So we should return this. Um, otherwise, we will need to return array num array left plus k minus num missing then minus one because essentially uh, here we have more of the number that are missing so which means we are overflow here 
So let's take an example to explain what, what I mean here. So suppose we are at here. So finally, the left pointer is pointing to here. So we have six. So at this position, we have six positive missing numbers. So, so, so if you hear, uh, if we have, so let's compute it. So the non missing is six and the array left is 11. So it is, so for this one, it is 11 plus six, um, plus six, um, plus, um, sorry, plus six minus num, uh, plus five minus num missing, uh, minus, if we don't do minus one, then it is uh, actually 10. So why the 10, why it is 10? That is because uh, we are missing, so as I said, we are missing more numbers. So because we are missing more numbers, uh, we need to just minus the one, which is, um, uh, we, we need to minus the extra one uh, on top of it to make it, to make, make up of it. So in that case, uh, we should be able to, um, So in, the, in that case, we should be able to cover that. So let's say uh, array.lens, what is that? Okay, it's this. It's ARR. Okay, so this is RR made, this is RR made. Okay, so let's do a submission for this. Yeah, so until now, I think we have a very good solution here. So you can see that I uh, made a couple submissions that are all wrong answer. So that's because I missed this condition. So if, if suppose on the current position, on the current position, which is the, uh, left, if there are last number missing, then we need to make up it. So let's say at uh, for this example, uh, finally the left pointer is pointing to here. So here we are missing zero numbers. So because we are missing less than k, uh, we are missing less than k positive numbers. Then we can easily just uh, plus the k to make up uh, to plus k minus the num missing to make up of it. But suppose at a position, for example, for this we are missing more numbers than k, then we need to move an extra bit to the left uh, to find the real missing number. So that's the difference uh, between whether the missing number is smaller than k or it is larger or equal to k. So that's different cases. And uh, that was a mistake I made before uh, a couple of times uh, and I finally found the bug. So hopefully this gives you some uh, helpful um, hints about solving this problem. Honestly, I don't really think this is a easy uh, question. I should it should be at least I think it should be a medium question if you're just going with the binary search. So that's it for uh, this question. Uh, if you like this video, please help subscribe this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.